Hey squad. I <laughs> I don't even remember the last time I filmed in my car. It's been a while. Welcome to my car. I am outside of Target currently. Um, I wanted to do something nice for my boyfriend today because I'm a good girlfriend. I just like wanted to do a little date thing, but I don't really want to go out anywhere. So it's like, okay, I'll just like do something at home. I was actually planning, we wanted, I, okay. I wanted to go on a picnic, but it's really cloudy today. It's been really sunny recently, which has been nice because it's been really cloudy and then it was really sunny and now it's really cloudy again. So I didn't really want to, my lips are so dry, like they are hurting. I wanted to do a little picnic thing, but that's kind of like out of the picture now. So I decided I would just make him his favorite dinner that I make. So I decided I'm gonna do that instead. So I'm just gonna like cook something at home and I know he's gonna like it so it works out. And I just wanted to do like a cute little setup, a cute little get ready with me, I don't know. I just like wanna hang out with you guys. I've been alone like all day and I feel like I have literally talked to no one, which is fine. Okay, I'm going inside, bye. Gotta hide you guys now so no one steals you. Okay, going home. I'm making it obvious by knocking at your door. Okay, haul. I got tulips and all of the petals keep falling off. <gasps> Stop! I got some beautiful tulips. They fell off of three whole flowers. That is so sad. Oh my God, stop falling off. I'll start by some white ones. Um, I had a cute idea to put ribbon in my hair, so I got some ribbon. Stuffer dinner, salad kit, some cleaner, big ass box of Q-tips, some tortellini. I don't care what you say. These cookies are some of the best cookies ever. I won't be arguing. Time to say bye to my old flowers. They actually don't even look that dead, but they are like, they're pretty dead. Dead flowers is one of the worst smells in the whole entire world. Like it literally smells so rotten. Excuse my lighting. I swear to God I say that in every video, but it gets so dark in my apartment. So I have to use a ring light. I'm talking so much with my hands because I just got my nails done. Can you guys see how cute they are? I have never had nails this long before. Um, there's something about sitting on my floor in front of my big mirror and doing makeup and my hair that just makes me feel something. I am not the best at makeup, but I just think it's it's so enjoyable for me. Like I love it so much. I feel like whenever I sit down in videos and like need to talk about stuff, my mind literally just goes through like, what flaw am I gonna talk about today about myself? Before we continue, I wanted to give a shout out to Sephora Collection for sponsoring this video. Thank you guys so much, what an honor. So I just put my primer on and I'm now going to go in with my Sephora Collection Best Skin Ever Foundation. And they also have a little brush that like you are supposed to use with it called the just like a foundation brush. Um, I haven't used this yet, but it already, it looks like the foundation brush that I usually use, so I'm sure it's gonna work perfect. This foundation comes in 50 shades, love that, um, and it's $20, US dollars and 25 Canadian dollars. The bottle of the foundation is made out of 30% recycled glass, which is really cool. It feels just like your skin, like it's not cakey, it's a natural finish, and you can, I'm sure you also can build it up because it's a more natural finish. I refuse to use foundations that look and feel cakey, and this does not feel like that at all it feels just like it says it feels just like your skin this is the best skin ever foundation from sephora collection bring it down your neck don't forget oh i wish the lighting in here was better i have a few other products from sephora collection too that i'm going to be using where did i put them oh they're right here one of my biggest flaws is losing things i can never remember where i set anything i look for my phone at least like four times a day i actually forget my i've been forgetting my phone a lot when i go places i went to my mom's this was kind of a while ago, but I went to my mom's and I forgot my phone and I told her that I was coming at a certain time, but I left a little bit late. And so she was tracking me and she saw that I didn't leave yet. And so she was like, where are you? So she was calling me and I had left my phone at my apartment and I was driving and she called my boyfriend and was like, are you guys on your way? And I was like, yeah, sorry, I forgot my phone at home. Like, I just, I don't know, I just forgot it. And when we got there, she was saying that her and my stepdad 
were joking about, they were like, oh yeah, like maybe she just like left her phone. And then they laughed because they were like, Avery would never leave her phone, she's always on it. Which is true, my screen time recently has been disgusting, like genuinely so bad, really need to work on it. The way that my brain is so used to like opening a social media app and then closing it when I like don't have anything else and then switching to a different one and then closing that and then switching to a different one and just like literally repeating that cycle like the way that my brain is literally so trained to do it like in a specific order is bad because i'll literally sit and just like open the same three apps that i just opened for the millionth time and then i have to realize and then I have to take a step back and be like, I've opened these apps so many times, I don't have any Snapchats. I don't talk to anyone, really. You don't have any notifications on Twitter. You don't have anything on Instagram to go look at. Can you guys see how, like, my skin looks cute right now? Okay. It looks a little scary, though. I need to, like, add some stuff. Anyway, moving on. Another thing I have been struggling with is my obsessive personality, which I have talked about many times. The way that it controls the things that I do and like want to do is a little bit concerning. For example, I got my nails done today, like I showed you guys. And I think, I don't know if it's that I'm obsessed with like a bunch of different people. I wouldn't say like, obsessed is a strong word, but I definitely, I don't know. I just like like a lot of different people, I guess, and take a lot of inspiration from them. But it gets to a point where when I am like doing something, like getting dressed or doing my hair, like getting my nails done every once in a while, I am asking myself like, what kind of nails would she get? Or like, what kind of nails would he get? Or whatever. And then I have to remember like, don't get the nails that they would get. Get the nails that you want. Like, what do you want your nails to look like? What do you want your makeup to be today? Like, what are you feeling? Which, I don't know if that's, like, an issue. I don't know. Am I letting, like, other random people that I literally don't know control my life too much because I'm, like, so invested in their life? And it's so hard when people are like, don't do something just because someone else would. Like, do what you want. Like, be yourself. Like, girl... I don't know who I am. I don't know exactly what I want all the time, which I think it's fine, you know? Like, that's just like your lifelong journey is like getting to know yourself and figuring out what you want. It's just something I need to be working on. Like, focusing and thinking more about myself instead of what the people I look up to, like thinking about what they would do and what they would want, and instead thinking about what I would want, because I genuinely feel like I think more about other people's lives than my own. <laughs> I think I want to do something, not like everyday makeup, I want to do something a little bit more, but nothing too crazy because, I don't know, I have a cute idea. I'm gonna use this brow gel. This is like a clear brow gel from Sephora Collection. I haven't tried this yet, but I have been needing a brow gel because I've been doing my own variation of soap brows. I don't use soap. I literally just use like this random hair gel that I've had for a long time. But I think it's almost a little bit too rough on my eyebrows because it like pulls a lot of the hairs out and I don't want that. I'm trying to think what literally, I'm trying to think of what has been going on in my life recently and I literally can't think of anything because I feel like the only thing I really ever do is like stuff that has to do with YouTube. The other day someone asked me a question. The question that I feel like no one wants to answer which was, what are your hobbies? Also, what do we think about me bleaching my eyebrows? Because I personally think that I would look like an alien and I think that that would be really cool. Okay, I think I'm gonna add some eyeliner too. Something that I have very genuinely struggled with for a really long time is like finding hobbies and things that I like to do because I feel like I am constantly thinking about YouTube and just anything work related that I forget that I should be doing other things too And I was talking to one of my friends about it because I just genuinely felt bad Especially like when I was asked the question like what are your hobbies because YouTube? Yeah, it's definitely a hobby, but it can't be like it's also when it's work It can't be like the only thing I literally do and think about um I just feel like that's not very healthy for me. Oh my God, I kind of did a really good job. So I was feeling bad because I feel like I don't try enough 
things just in life like i just feel like i should be doing more and my friend told me that that's like not what life about life is about like life is not about like going out of your way to do a billion things like just like naturally try and find things that you like to do and don't force yourself to do them and i think that is a problem that i also have is forcing myself to do things because i'm like i need to do this i don't even know why i don't know why i force myself to do things i don't want to do when they're supposed to be like enjoyable and like self-care that is not how it should be. I definitely have a few things that I like to do other than YouTube. I'm just not super consistent with them, like sewing. I sew every once in a while, and then I like don't for like a long time. Or skateboarding, like I'll skateboard every day for like a while, and then I like won't. I mean, it's winter now, so it's like been really cold and snowy, but it's finally warming back up. I hate complaining about lighting so much because it's so annoying, but the lighting is just like not doing my makeup justice, but I think it looks cute. Moving on, I'm gonna go do my hair. Hopefully this cute little idea I have works. ribbon idea because this is not working out well and it's really stiff so it's not like draping like cutely like it's just looks like I have something stuck in my hair I'm not gonna blame myself but damn I wish that worked out because that would have been really cute Giving kind of Tumblr vibes a little bit. Jen's uses all, oh my God. Jen's literally uses all of my hairspray. Yeah, that is gone. Look at how dark my apartment is right now. And this is with the lights on. We're not gonna talk about the flowers. Target failed me. These flowers were horrible. So many of them got ruined while I was trying to put them in the thing. It doesn't matter. I think it's time to start cooking. Ooh, I wanted to show you guys my new ring that I got. It matches my nails. I'm wearing this dress I got from a vintage shop in Salt Lake. I kind of like having no necklace recently and just more earrings and rings. Um, I don't know, I just like really like the look of like open collarbones. I am gonna start making dinner now. This is really easy to make, so I'll show you. I'm gonna put my pasta in here so I'm getting that boiling because my stove takes so long to boil stuff. But starting with the sauce, I got this recipe on Pinterest, so I will link it down below. Um, but I'm just gonna melt a little bit of butter. I don't measure anything too like precisely. Lesson for you, clean as you go. Your life will be so much better. Okay, now that the butter's melted, I'm going to add just under half an onion. Then I'm gonna add a spoonful of minced garlic and start mixing that up. So that needs to get a little bit browner. I'm gonna use about a fourth of a cup of tomato paste. It says to add crushed red pepper, but I'm gonna add a few other seasonings too. I'm adding oregano and Italian seasoning. I feel like that one girl on TikTok that makes all those vegan recipes, this isn't vegan though, but whatever. I feel like her, but she's like so wholesome and so beautiful. Set timer for three minutes. I'm gonna add some heavy cream. I'm just kind of eyeballing it. While this is all cooking, I'm gonna get my salad kit ready. 
take some pasta water and dump it in here because your sauce is very thick. You can add cheese if you want, but I am not. <gasps> if you have some fresh basil, that would be really good on top too. I don't know if I do, I'm gonna have to check. <laughs> Here it is, ladies and gents. Gents. <laughs> Cheers. Yeah, yeah. We'll take this on after. <laughs> Thank you for coming along this journey of me getting ready and hanging out with us for a second. Do you have any words? Toodaloo. Bye!